Hi, Scottish Mud Larkin here with Nicole and Craig. Today we've come along to a brand new dump. We've never been here before, so we're not quite sure what to expect. But we do want to say a huge thanks for that tip to come to this tip. So far, just looking at what's on the ground, it looks like late Victorian, early Edwardian. So, let's see what we can find. Now, we've never been here before, so we're not quite sure what we are going to find. But, as Nicole said, there's certainly a fair few of these sauce bottles around. But there's a couple of nice things here. There's a nice uh, milk glass jar there. All oh, right, yeah, that's nice. Uh, now, you were reckoning that those shaped bottles are furniture polish bottles. Yeah, you can well, point that one out. Okay, right. I'll so the one with the really wide neck there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. reckon that's a furniture polish bottle. Well, we found the uh, Stevens furniture polish before, and that had a very similar shaped bottle. It did say furniture polish at the top, though. Okay. And this that... one is plain, so... Okay, so it may or may not be a furniture polish bottle. Certainly, whatever it was that was in there would have been quite viscous yeah. and uh, quite difficult to, to get out of the neck. I see, yeah. is that a pipe stem right in it front is, of you as well? Yeah, 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 the first pipe stem I found. So. Okay, anything uh, on that? Oh, I don't know. That looks like the mouthpiece, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that shaped mouthpiece that you get on uh, cutties here. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, I'm, I'm guessing that if there was anything on the stem, it would have been a little bit further up there. Yeah. So, but well, I'm taking that. Anyway, let's turn to nicer subjects, huh. the milk glass pot yeah, there. Yeah, okay, let's have that. I should say it's raining today, so the uh -huh. camera might go off uh, quite suddenly at some point. Mm -hmm. It's not because the camera's broken, it's because I'm stopping it from getting broken. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually very cool. It's quite thin on the top, Luke, and I can actually see mm -hmm. right through the top. I don't yeah. know if you can see that on the camera here. All right, yeah, you can really see the lovely opalescent sort of sheen. If I turn it over a little bit more, well, oh no, I think, yeah, it's just, it looks almost blue. Yeah. That's the opalescent glass. That's really nice. Very I cool. Yeah, I don't have this shape yet, so this is coming home with me. Okay. So, yeah, as we said, lots of these uh, sauce bottles. Oh. Well, I saw some HP sauce bottles, oh. um, but I think this one, I thought it said oh. Glasgow, but it's oh. it's Gartens. No, oh, no it's, it's not. Patterson's, it's actually. Patterson's, yeah. yeah. Sorry. So we were both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's Patterson's. Hmm. Do you think they made sauce? Let's see. Anything else? Oh, oh, there is, yeah. What does that say? Oh. Is that coffee? Oh, camp coffee. Camp, okay, camp cool. coffee and chicory. Mm. Yeah, so this was like a coffee substitute. I'm not even sure if there was any coffee in this. <laughs> uh, again, my gran used to have a wee bottle of... Uh, I'm not sure if it was this particular brand. Yeah. But she'd always have a wee bottle of this in the house. She didn't drink coffee. Yeah, I think it was... Uh, I read somewhere that it was actually kind of uh, kinder to the stomach. So but a lot of people preferred that. Very cool. Patterson & Son were a Glasgow-based company who specialised in fruit cordials. They invented camp coffee, the first instant coffee, back in 1885. The liquid in this bottle was made in much the same way as their cordials. A mixture of water and sugar was flavoured with a combination of chicory and dry coffee extracts, essentially creating a coffee cordial. This was the first product to make coffee available to the masses. It was easily made by adding hot water and milk to a small amount of the coffee cordial. Prior to camp coffee, anyone wanting to drink coffee at home needed to have expensive equipment to grind beans and percolate the coffee in order to prepare it for drinking. What I really love about this story is that Patterson & Son made an instant coffee product by doing what they did best. Essentially, they made a cordial, and in doing so, they democratised coffee drinking across the UK. Red E Coffee was produced in the US in 1909 and it's the first commercial powdered instant coffee. These early powdered coffees lacked in taste but they continued to improve until in 1968 freeze drying produced a product that tasted a little bit more like the real thing. These days camp coffee is still available though I suspect it's more often used as a flavouring for coffee cake, fudge, iced coffee and other confections than it is used as an instant coffee. So there we have it. The first instant coffee product was invented in Scotland, in the city of Glasgow, way back in 1885. What I'll do is I'll leave you having a wee search around here. Mm -hmm. You think this area could be promising then? Yeah, I think so. There's one thing that I've seen and it's just over there. It's a uh, 
vulcanite stopper still in the neck of the bottle. Okay, that's cool. Now I'm going to ask you not to point it out for a second. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I know. I know. It's one of these things, right? I mean, is it is it really worth doing this? Can you, you see, see it? it? <laughs> is it worth doing here where there's so much to see? I think I can see it actually. Okay. So I'm going to move in a little bit slowly, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, if you can see it, then award yourself a, a bonus point. <laughs> okay. It's a very interesting vulcanite stopper. It's a different shape from the usual flat, uh, round ones. There we go. So, and it's just over there. So I'll take this away. Oops, sticky nettles, half broken bottle. Yeah, there's lots of nettles, lots of jaggy. So we've got thistles here, we've got nettles here. Okay. Now that's really nice. You can really see like the lines inside there of that really sick old uh, sea foam bottle. I'm not sure if there are any markings on the stopper. I'll turn it around slightly. Oh no, it's worse on this side. <laughs> <laughs> oh Let's well, see. been here a while. Oh yeah, there is something on there, but I can't make it out yet, so. Okay, well maybe take that aside and mm -hmm. we'll have a wee look at that when we can. Yeah. I think you can see the problem. Um, the entire, it's the forest of nettles here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get through them. I can see some evidence of a hole just up ahead, mainly because the uh, those nettles kind of dip away a little bit. I wonder what's through there. Looks like a path to me. Oh wow, okay. I can see a big hole in the distance. Oh, this is very cool. Oh, awesome. This is very, very, very cool. I think I've found the place where we should relocate to immediately and start looking around. I'm just gonna go back and uh, get Nicole, but before I do, I'll show you why. Lots of little bottles here. So many teapots. There's a whole host of teapots here. And we have a poison bottle as well. So I'm going to take that poison bottle back. Uh, that's just this one right here. I'm going to take that back along with me. I'm doing better than you. I'm getting jagged really badly though. I'm getting mauled mauled by these nettles and uh, and the thistles as well but look um, I've got a reason that you should come over that way with me okay. and it's that <gasps> oh is that an ammonia bottle it says poisonous not to be taken Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, beep. okay uh, yeah I, I did swear there sorry folks <laughs> Uh, I just didn't. Right, so oh, I, I was I was saying to Nicole when we arrived here uh, to watch where she was putting her feet because a lot. Yeah, you're happy. Yeah. A lot of these holes are now overgrown with nettles and stuff. Uh -huh, yeah. And uh, what what I just did there was I stepped on what looked like a firm patch covered in nettles, yeah. and no, it was a hole. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? That's oh, cool. That's really cool, and it's in really good condition as well. It is. It is. Maybe turn that sideways, and we can have a wee read of it. Oh, right. we just turn it that way. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. That's. It. I mean, yeah, yeah. There mm. we go. So we can see that there. Ah, we can't actually. It's very difficult to see. Okay. Do you know what? You can see it. <laughs> and that's enough. You can see it. Now the thing is, Ta -da! are you going to come over that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go check okay, that out. Let's go do that then. But before we go over there, I want to pick this little jar up. Let's see what it is that Nicole's got an eye on. <laughs> it's actually quite a cool wee bottle. Hang on, I've lost it. Oh, oh no, I've not. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. This one here. Yeah, yeah, now it's yeah. starting to rain, oh, so no. I'm not sure how long we'll have here. Oh. Uh, but we should, we should stow away the camera for the minute. Let's grab that okay. and we'll go over that other hole. Right. So I'm hiding underneath the trees here to, in order to keep the camera dry because there's a wee bit of rain. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just a wee spit of rain. Uh -huh. um, and what have you found there? Well, I found a mini bottle and a mug with a handle. <laughs> okay, I've found something a lot better. Okay. A lot better. And I've found it by standing here sheltering in among the trees. Huh? Okay. So, 
I'm going to turn the camera down to it so you can basically, if you want to hone in roughly where you can see that I'm pointing the camera, oh, right. I think the viewers will probably see it before you do. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Away! Away! <laughs> Oh, I literally just walked by that and never saw it. It's quite well disguised in oh. the green, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll get the camera back on there just now. Ooh. And I hope you can see it. If you couldn't see it before, I hope you can see it now. Oh, that's so amazing. And do you know what? There's another oh. bottle with it. Oh, are you okay? Yes. Just, we're being mauled, people. We're being mauled. This is brambles and nettles. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at some point, at least there's going to be fruit from the brambles. Yep. Let's see if you can pick that up. Now, the other thing, I'm just going to tilt the camera a little bit to the side. Okay. And hopefully the uh, the viewers can see that there's something else in there that uh, I think okay. merits dragging out for a closer look. Okay, maybe from the other side. Then. Maybe, I'm gonna maybe. take the poison bottle okay, out Okay, you grab that one. Is that in one piece? It, well, yeah, it, it is in one piece. It's just the neck has a tiny bit chip, but you know, it says not to be taken. It's a green poison bottle. That's amazing. That's a really cool one, yeah. yeah. So that's the second poison bottle we've found today as well. Yeah. One clear and one beautifully green. Uh -huh. And both of them have those ribs as well, marking them as, uh, you know, dangerous yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. Um, now I'm just going to try and reach between the brambles and the nettles and see if I can grab that bottle out. And then I'm going to pass it over to Nicole and she'll tell us what it is. Ooh. There we go. Wow. Now Ooh. I'm going to come in closer so that we can actually see what that embossed writing might say. Yeah. Can you maybe turn that around to the camera? Yeah, okay. I'll try and uh, read it out. A Sharwood, is As, it? Oh, uh, right. Yeah. So it's G E Sharwood and Co. Right. And we recognize that name because when I turn it around, it actually says Calcutta and London. So this would have had relish. All right, what kind of relish? That's, I'll tell you something, that's a big neck on that bottle for relish. <laughs> you think that's like a brown sauce or something then? The, no, like Sherwoods, like the people who make um, uh, curry chutneys sauces and, and chutneys. Yeah, yeah, so. Cool. Wow. So that could have been an early mango chutney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you good. had really good eyes today. That's very cool. AJ Sherwood was born the son of a well-established chemist and a Scots school teacher. His father was sent to debtor's prison when Sharwood was only four years old and he would only meet his father one more time before he died in the workhouse in 1894. Despite difficulties in his early life, A.J. Sharwood went on to establish a business that remains a household name to this day. The first bottle of Sharwood's mango chutney was placed on the shelves of his grocery store in 1888. His connection to Indian cuisine grew through a series of lucky connections that took him to India and led him to acquire distribution rights for Venkat curry powder, which he began distributing in 1893. By 1933, Sharwoods had become the largest dealers in Indian condiments in the world. Although the company was sold out of the family in 1962, the name Sharwoods remains firmly associated in the UK with Indian foods. Behind that tree, uh -huh. there is an awesome collection of teapots and other things. Ooh. But that's where I found the first poison bottle, so let's go over there. Okay. Really lovely. The brambles, there's some brambles and raspberries here, and there's bees buzzing all around them just now. Can't get close enough to film the bees though. Lots of different species of bees as well. There's one. Oh, and this one looks like it's having a wee nap. gathering its pollen there. Is it a sleepy bee? No, no, it's gathering pollen. I can see it actually moving its wee legs, gathering it all up. Busy bee then. <laughs> it's a busy wee bee. Oh, it's a tiny one. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, here we go again. <laughs> Heading back off through all these uh, jaggy plants. Now, I'm hoping that I don't fall down another hole, but you know, we may yet hear a second bleep uh, in this video. If I do, all these plants here are going to, uh, if, certainly if they brush your skin, they're going to leave you itching really badly. Whereas these ones, the good old Scottish thistle, well they're just going to jag you anyway. They'll jag through your clothes. Um, so yeah, we're basically getting a, we're being pin cushions today <laughs> for our passion and trying to avoid wee holes. But I think, yeah, wait, <laughs> this is hilarious. It's like whack-a-mole in reverse. Miss a hole, avoid a hole, that's what we should call it. Avoid a hole. So we're coming through here. 
we can't see the holes because they're all overgrown um, with all these uh, jaggy plants. Oh, huh? is that, is that milk glass? Oh, good eyes, I think it might be. Okay. I'm, I'm looking around to avoid holes. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, there's bottles in here. <laughs> this is amazing, okay, because everywhere we look, uh, you just clear aside some of the weeds. Um, and, and yeah, that we should take that one. Look, it has hexagonal sides. It's got oh, angled that's, sides. That's awesome. It's like that, um, that uh, oh, I can't remember the name now. That, uh, ow! <laughs> I've just been jagged by an elf, folks. Yeah, it's quite painful. Yeah, that okay. face cream. I'll take that out here. Oh, there's some numbers on it. It's a wee bit broken. Okay, let's take that out. We'll take mm -hmm. a closer look at it away from the nettles. Okay, up. yeah. I'm going to march on to that other uh, other uh, tip. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, as Nicole's picking that up. But just, this is amazing. This place is absolutely amazing. Wow. There's quite a lot here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, mini what have found? Ooh, oh, mini that's bottles. cool. That's tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Oh. I think that's a wee medical vial or something like yeah, that. Yeah, probably. Um, I don't think there's anything. Oh, that other bottle's just disintegrated in front of our eyes. Never mind. Let's just okay, take that wee I'll one. I'll take this little one here. And we'll take a look around this incredible tip. Uh -huh. So, huh? that little uh, milk glass jar that I just found nestled in amongst the nettles. Yeah. You can see what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. It's Ven Usa cream again and uh, Remember this folks? Yeah, yeah, just be, it was in a green jar and now this one is the milk glass jar. That's really nice. I know it's missing a tiny bit but I can turn it around to the front so you don't see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I mean for us we don't mind the old chip, particularly if it's something that we don't already have. Uh -huh. So what we'll do is we'll look around, if we find a better example of that then mm -hmm. we'll, we'll maybe get rid of that one. Yeah. But until then, maybe. we have that. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Let's no. have a look around here. There's some amazing stuff to see yeah so there's about three or four different places that we can start in and i've elected to begin here <laughs> um there's a few things in here maybe nicole can come in around in front there right, and we'll be able to see what, what we can see Oops. so we've got a wee uh wee shipping space jar there yeah. i don't know is that one in one piece do you know well, it has a little fracture there, but other than that, I think it looks fine. See, there's a little kind of fracture there where the light reflects. Right, yeah, there's another one there, yeah. Mm -hmm. You were just about to pick that up. <laughs> yeah. And that's... Just uh, here. Just right there. That's a lovely shape one. I don't yeah. think we've got one that shape. No, we don't. That's really nice. So we we'll definitely nice. have to have that one. Yeah. For our, for little, our little paste collection. Yeah, very cool. I'll put that next to the other one. Yeah. Okay. okay dogs. Now, I don't know what this is. Is this... Oh, I know what it is, actually. I'll put it there. The viewers can uh, leave a comment if they know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> so there would have been a little uh, tub of something in here, uh -huh. or a little bottle of something in yeah. there, and there would have been either a little tub of something uh -huh. very similar, yeah, uh, or something a little bit powdery. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. I think I'm going to have to take that. It's so steampunky. That is very cool, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's metallic as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's probably uh, maybe like a copper or something. Right. So that's why it's turned green. Okay, let's very see. Very cool. What else is here? There's a bubble jar here. I found one here as well. There's something else. It looks like a, an <laughs> it looks like an ultra large shipham's jar. It's not, of course, um, because the uh, the weird marks are on the top. And what I mean by weird marks are uh, ah. just these lines here. All right. But yeah. Now we've got another one of these Bovro bottles. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, Nicole has just put the two uh -huh. Bovro bottles next to one another. Yeah. And I'm wondering what is what is this? What's you this know bottle? what it is? I can is it read lemon it crystals? You. No, no. Oh, it's no. grape water. Oh, awesome! Grape water. This. <laughs> All right, yeah. okay, so is that, uh -huh. it's Woodward's again. Yeah. Yeah, so anyone who saw the little section that we did on Woodward's grape water then will know that this stuff used to be packed full of alcohol yeah. and it was given to children on a regular basis. Mm. Now, before we say anything more about that, and we probably won't, we'll just direct you to another video. Ooh. Yeah, I know, I know, that's what I just saw and I was hoping, <laughs> yes. I was really hoping that I was going to surprise you with that, but you wouldn't stop looking around because you never do. No. Oh. And that's that's what I'd seen and I was about to try and uh, oh. try and make a wee, a wee surprise there for you, but oh. never mind. The very, very thing that I was kind of hoping to find was a Marvel. Well, that's a bead. A, a bead, yeah. yeah. Well, I either, either. <laughs> well, that's a big one as well. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's really nice. It's kind of terracotta coloured. Yeah. So we'll, oh, we'll have that. So now that we've uh, had this little excursion 
for the bovril bottles, let's get back into that tip and we'll see what we can find. Yeah. Now this is really, really, really cool. I found something very cool here. Okay. Yeah, so I've left Nicole whilst I went off to film a bit of B-roll as I often do. And I've seen these two little jars, but there's something else alongside these. Now it's not uh, what I thought it might be on first inspection. It is actually a bottle, but we're going to take this wee bottle and this wee jar out of here for the minute. And we'll take a closer look at that. I think we know what this one is. But what I've seen just now and what Nicole's ah. about to see is this. Oh, nice. Nice uh, shape. It is a nice shape. It's a familiar shape, but do you know what? It's not. Um, not a lamp? It's not. A, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to try and get this to stand up right a little bit. Uh -huh. There we go, that's much better. Mm. Right, now I don't think that's a lamp. We can see there was a bottle label on it here. Oh, right. It's a very irregular shape as well. The mm -hmm. lip on this bottle is uh, really quite badly shaping as well. Yeah. But I think because of that lip mm -hmm. and because of this label, I'd be inclined to say that that was a bottle. It was a flask of some kind that contained who knows what. Maybe. I haven't seen a bottle that shape yet. No, no, me neither. I'm just thinking because it's got this... Uh, kind of alert kind of shaped label that it might have been like a pharmacy bottle i think you might be right yeah i mean that mm. shape would certainly suggest uh that kind of thing as well it looks mm. like a it looks like a chemist's flask doesn't yeah it? it does it does yeah so where's the stopper for it Must be where's the stopper here. for it <laughs> now you can just see how uh -huh. oh, there's, there's some on the bottom but look at how rough that bottom is i'll ask you to hold that so i can focus well there we go well, that's a closer look at that one nicole's just turning it around just now and I think what we can see uh, the minute we take a closer look at it is that this piece looks to me very obviously like it's been in a fire, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been in one of these incinerators, early rubbish disposals. Let's have a wee look at the bottom of that. Oh, very nice. Very cool, it's a really unique piece. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to walk around it without falling into another hole. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Oh no, it's quite embarrassing actually. Yeah, yeah, so that as looks... As fun as it was, uh -huh. I don't want to do it again. It looks like it might be a really old bottle with that um, mark on the bottom from the uh, glass blower. It's really rough, right? Mm -hmm. It's very, very mm -hmm. rough. Very nice. We'll take a closer look at that and, uh, you know, if we can see what it is, mm -hmm. uh, we'll let you know. In fact, what I'll do is I'm going to put it down in the bottom right, and if you can see, well, if we can find out what it is, just alongside it there, there'll be some writing. <laughs> but until that point, um, feel free to let us know in the comments what you think it is. Okay. So, Nicole um, is coming along behind just now. She saw a couple of things she wanted to take a wee peek at, and uh, while she's doing that, I'm just going to swing around here and uh, see what we can see. A couple of really cool wee things in here at the minute. See a wee inkwell. This wee inkwell here, the top's been knocked off that one, which is a real shame. But there is something else that's quite bizarre, and I wonder what it is if it's... It's the kind of thing nowadays, if we saw it, we would probably put salad dressing in it, or something like salad dressing. This wee terracotta pot here, it's very really cute. It's almost like the kind of thing that you'd have in a doll's house, uh, but I don't think it was ever designed for that. It looks to me like it was a, either just a wee decorative jar, it has a marking on the bottom. So we'll take a closer look at that. I think that says 182. I'm sure if you can make that out. That's what it looks like to me. We'll take that along. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to find out exactly what that is, but you know, I kind of like to think it's a wee vinaigrette <laughs> dish, but that might be too modern. Nicole's found a really nice cruet set, so we're going to take a look at that. I've found this. What have you found? This. So we're taking a tiny wee breather here at the moment. <laughs> really, it is actually, well, if you fall out of hole, fall into holes and have to climb out of them all the time, it can be a little bit exhausting, yeah. but it's not bad. You know, I say it's exhausting. We're not digging these holes, folks. <laughs> no, <laughs> We're no. coming along after the bottle diggers have been. Yeah, they've done the work. They have indeed. And they've left some amazing stuff here. Yeah, they So really what have you have. got there? Well, okay, so I've got a little bottle that I'm taking. 
wee medical vial, that yeah, one, yeah. I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, just a lovely wee plain white bottle. Uh, then another milk glass jar. I don't think I have that size, so that's yeah. good. Uh, I found yet another Bovril for your collection. <laughs> yeah, so we've been finding quite a few Bovril mm. bottles and I'm quite interested in having a wee look at the history of Bovril and we'll yeah. maybe get around to doing that at some point, probably yeah. this video. <laughs> and there's that weird looking flask thing as well. Yeah. That's amazing, I don't know what it is though. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a, a little souvenir from Spain that is... Oh, uh, this? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I meant this. Oh, right, that. Yeah. This is less amazing but mm. very cute. Nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. Think, I think you're right though, yeah. yeah. I think sangria jug or something like that. Yeah, a sangria jug for <laughs> people maybe. who don't like sangria. It's yeah. tiny. It's very cute though. It goes with my uh, doll furniture. Or we have this. Doll yes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm interrupting you there. It, <laughs> it does. I actually said it looks like a doll's piece when I picked it up as ah. well. So I know it's not for a doll's house, but okay. it has that look about it, doesn't uh -huh. it? Yeah, now, yeah. last but not least, mm -hmm. we have the crew set or crew. Crits. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. It's just uh, missing a wee handle here. So we, we can see that there would have been two little pots that popped in there. Mm -hmm. um, and those pots would have had holes in the top. Yeah, yeah. And they would have been used for salt and pepper. Um, yeah, so that's that's about as much as we'll say about that for the minute. We <laughs> might come back to that subject actually to say why it is that um, we think an item that we found a few weeks ago has uh, more of the culinary than it does of the uh, the literary uh, about it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's so cool. What's Isn't that? Is it, it pouring tea? Yeah, pouring tea off down something. I can't, I can't beat that from here. Yeah, no, down no, on can me, I? down on me. Or, or oh, something pouring down, down on, on me. me. Yeah, and it's got a little, uh, well, half a cockerel on it. I really thought that was very cute. It's very cute and it's mm -hmm. also bizarre. Well, yeah, I mean, it reminds me of uh, some pottery that I've seen from the uh, Methven pottery where it says good morning. Okay, let's go on. Yeah. The day's winding on and every time I walk past these I'm reminded that it's getting near to tea time. <laughs> uh, but I don't think we'll be making any tea in any of those. But I think we will take a closer look at those teapots in a minute. But just before we do, there was something that we saw when we were walking by. And it's this. Oh. Now, oh, I'm just changing the uh, exposure again so that we get a better look at this because mm -hmm. it's very bright. And now that the sun's come out, uh, we're really blessed with warmth <laughs> yeah. and nice sunlight and it's that, that is milk glass isn't it? It yeah. looks ceramic, it looks like it's it, glazed. Yeah, yeah it does so uh, maybe we might have to take it out. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay let me, right, hmm, it looks like it's milk glass possibly. But hold it against the light, I think I can see some light shining through just where the rim is there. Okay, yeah, it's in a really weird uh, place oh. for filming because oh. it's so dark. Now, here's the thing, uh -huh. as I come down to film that, you'll see there's a wee <laughs> bovril jar in the back there. <laughs> and I, I don't think we've seen that bovril jar yet. No, no, no. It's so just we'll be waiting. having that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can see the light shining through that now that we have it up in the, in the sunlight, yeah. right? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Now, now that I see this Bovril jar, mm -hmm. I'm reminded I've seen something very cool just off to my right. All right. It was just when I was passing those uh, those teapots, I thought to myself, do you know what? If you weren't having a you weren't having a cup of tea, maybe fancy a wee beefy drink. <laughs> Beef tea. <laughs> no sooner had I said a wee beefy drink <laughs> than these we uh, the, I think this is the biggest uh, Bovril bottle Ooh. that we've uh, found so far, and we're definitely going to have that one. 
right, yeah, that might be one of the 16 ounce one. Okay, let me just... Yeah, so let's have a closer look at them then. Okay, so there's this one here and then there's this very giant... Oh, it's an 8 ounce bovril. So it's not the 16 ounce no, bottle, it's no. the 8 ounce bottle. But I don't think we've got one of those, do we? No, we do not. So. That's very cool. Yeah. We're definitely going to be taking that. Yeah, yeah. Now there are two things here, one there and one there. We're going to look at that one first. Okie dokes. Now that is quite stunning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're, we're a wee bit in the shade yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know. And... Am I shading it now? Yeah, I'm yeah, shading it. Yeah, you are. If is you could good? come round this no. side, please. <laughs> there we go. A wee bit of light on that now. Oh. Actually, it might be too much light. <laughs> I'll change, change the uh, exposure a wee bit. That's much yeah. better. Okay. Now, that is just a really, really elaborate piece of it. I'm, I'm guessing it's a vase, but so many colours on it, and it's mm. kind of almost like snake skin. Some would say gauche. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's quite loud, isn't it? It is, <laughs> yeah, it is. I wonder what that was. Mm, probably a vase, but yeah, it has this little frill thing there. Maybe yeah. it was a dress or it's something. It's got a tutu on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so are you, are you going to take that? Mm, I don't know. I'm tempted because it's so lovely and colourful, but it's not like sea glass. So. It's unusual. I'll tell yeah. you what, we'll leave it here this week. Uh -huh. Now comments, yeah. if you want to tell us, get yourselves back along there. What are you doing? You're mental, leaving a piece like that. <laughs> then we'll come back along here and we'll see if we can refine it. Yeah. Um, in the meantime though, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get the, uh, there we go. So in the meantime though, that's the other piece. Now it's yeah. right in the middle of the screen, uh -huh. but you won't be able to see what it is because of the light. Okay. So I'm going to go over there and I think, I think you can probably see it by now. Yeah. Okay, two seconds, there we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, the sun is really bright today. When the sun comes out, it's bright. When it rains, it's really unpleasant. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. It's a really cool wee piece. Is that a straw? It's not a strawberry, is it? It's a wee no. floral design. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a lovely pattern that we usually find in Kakodi. And we've actually got a mug in our Myrtle the Turtle shop where I've created this pattern from pieces that we found on the beach. And I'm very happy to find this here. Yeah. That's really nice. Very cool. Let's have that. Yeah, I'm now there's some teapots I want to have a look at. <laughs> Do you know, I've always been pondering to have a collection of teapots up on the top row of the kitchen cupboards. Not unlike these. Yeah, Nicole's amassed quite a wee collection here, folks, <laughs> and it's quite impressive. Now I'm about to fold it in a hole as I film this, but <laughs> how cool is that, though? Yeah. This is, this is, we could, <laughs> we could call this teapot tip. Teapot tip, yeah, I love that. Here we are, a teapot tip. <laughs> yeah. Just going to come around your side here. I'm just going to slowly pan through these. Yeah. Uh, just so that folks can get a wee look at them. Uh -huh. There's quite a diversity of teapots here. Yeah, there really are. There's a, at least, I think, two that are enamel. And one, the one in the back there with the top of the blue glaze that actually has a lid. So I'm very tempted to take that because it's really nice. And it also looks a little bit like a Japanese teapot to yeah. me with uh -huh. the style. Um, that could be a stylized yeah. thing. And you know, we have teapots for all all sizes of yeah. uh, tastes as well. Nicole found this wee one. That was inside one of the teapots. A teapot inside a teapot. Oh yeah, that is so cute. So that's a wee doll's house uh -huh. teapot. That's <laughs> so beautiful, isn't it? It's such a lovely wee piece of transfer. And when I say wee, it really <laughs> is. I mean, you know, there's, there's a finger next to it. That's, that's how wee it is. There's yeah. no a cup of tea in there, even, no. for, a, even for a wee fairy. <laughs> wee fairy's cup. <laughs> fairy cup, yeah, yeah. And then I think my favourite is this kind of enamelled one. Have you seen that really gorgeous pattern on it? It's just like a kind of flower pattern. Kind of reminds me of wallpaper. It does, yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking William Morris. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. I've not seen anything uh, as decorated as that on uh, enamelware. So that's really That's pretty. lovely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I'm taking the little one. Um, and by little one, I yeah. think Nicole means this, yeah. this little doll's house teapot. Mm -hmm. But the other one, and it's the one that caught my eye as well. Uh -huh. um, and we, we just actually said hello to this like, kind of very lovely chap who, uh, who dug some of these out. <laughs> um, so a big thanks to him for all the, all the hard work that he's <laughs> yeah. put in. But I think this one, it reminds me, I'm going to lift it to the front here. It's really heavy as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now that reminds me of... Uh, a Japanese teapot. Ah, it really does. It's this earthenware kind of work here, mm -hmm. and the glaze is mm -hmm. kind of 
just partial but it, it may not be it could be you know after the style of that yeah. the handle is not at all japanese no in design yeah well, uh, but it's, it's this isn't it yeah well look, most of these could have been uh, made in scotland you know there was a uh, hundred thousand teapots made what in a day in kakori so. that's a lot of tea <laughs> that's a lot of tea mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so as nicole said we even have the lid for that one mm -hmm. so we'll pop that carefully on there because i see that uh in fact, you know, as I popped it down, I could feel that there was a little bit of looseness around here, yeah, so we'll have to be very careful. <laughs> very there we go. <laughs> now, this may be the last thing we pick up today. Uh, the clouds are coming in and we're due a little bit of rain this evening. <laughs> but just as uh, Nicole and I were talking about that, Nicole went, oh! <laughs> There's a bead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see it? Can you see the bead? Oh. I'll give you a clue. It's earth colour. Yeah, that's so funny. Isn't Which is it? really handy. Sorry, I was being facetious. <laughs> it's, it's really handy that it's earth coloured. Mm -hmm. um, and amongst uh, all this, well, for want of a better word, earth. Right. Okay, but can you see it? Yeah, I think I'm going to take my glove off to pick that up. Because that's so tiny. Okay, there it is. Yeah, right in the middle of the screen as well. Uh -huh. I'm doing you all a favour, I think. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there Ooh, it is, it's very lovely. cool. Bead number two today. Yeah. Okay, let's have that wee bead out, that's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a question. Uh -huh. Now we've done this kind of thing before, but normally what we do is, is it a waste pipe? Or is it a really cool expensive and ancient jar all right well okay. here what i have to ask is much simpler is it a stopper or is it the bottleneck that the stopper went into oh can you see I what i'm talking see... about no i cannot Oops. can you see it yet no oh yeah 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 oh it's this here i think it's there. a stopper <laughs> looks like a stopper oh, it looks yeah. like it's broken mm, yeah but it also <laughs> looks like it's covered with some kind of wax paper or something all right yeah you and it's that? white yeah i can see it's white yeah. or a clear glass yeah oh that's a very good find that could be one of your f three favorite finds <laughs> i'm fact. pretty sure it's gonna be that <laughs> let's have a closer look at that then oops it's a big stopper yeah okay oh yeah it's a little bit broken yeah much like the ones you find at the beach sometimes still cool yeah yeah i've had an idea I think we should come back to this place. I think that's an awesome idea. And do you know what else? Uh -huh. That's an awesome wee find as well. Yeah, it's a really lovely light bulb. It is, isn't it? How on earth did that survive? That is actually, now that you put it like that, you know, it is a bizarre question. Uh -huh. You can see there's no metallic element on the bottom of this one. It's just, it's the glass bowl yeah. with a glass kind of a mm -hmm. bit inside. And the filament's still there as well. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. still see the filament in uh -huh. there. Yeah, yeah, it's a little crumbled. That's really cool. How awesome is that? I thought you would absolutely love that. I do, that's cool. <laughs> that's that's, that's a, a Trez steam, steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? Okay, so your idea is we should come back along here. Yeah, yeah, and I think for today, we're probably done now. So let's take a look at our favourite finds. Yeah. Well, here are just a wee selection of uh, some of the really cool things that we found here today. And you know, we, we've never been here before, so we had no idea whatsoever if it was going to be a good day, a bad day, or just a completely indifferent day. <laughs> but it turned out to be quite a spectacular day. Oh yeah. So what we're going to do now is, we're each just going to point out our three favourite finds. Okay, so I'll kick off then with my three favourite finds. Uh -huh. Now my first favourite find is that poison bottle. It might have a wee nick in the top, you know, just that wee nick just up here in the lip. But you can see clearly there, not to be taken, it is covered in those warning lines. Yeah. So the whole thing's tactile uh -huh. and you can't mistake it for what it is. So there I was just saying how much I like this bottle here as my first favourite find when the battery died. <laughs> uh, now we've changed the battery now and my second favourite find, handily enough, is right beside it. It's, this, <laughs> it's such an interesting kind of, I don't know. It's a very, very interesting bottle. Yeah. It's not least so by the fact that it is, it is fire damaged. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if you can see that texture in the yeah. glass there that it's left behind. That makes it even prettier, doesn't it? This little beaker shape. <laughs> I think so, yeah, it's very uh -huh. cool. Uh -huh. Now my third favorite find, yeah. it's hiding. Okay. 
Is it this? It is indeed. It's that light bulb that Nicole <laughs> found just at the end there, just as we were about to leave. Mm. I think that's amazing. Not least so for, you know, it, it still exists. It's in <laughs> one piece. It's a light bulb. Yeah. And I don't think a modern light bulb. It's so light as well. And no pun intended <laughs> that the light bulb is light. Um, but really, just proof of concept, it's it's very, very thin glass. And, and yet somehow it's managed to survive in this hole for, you know, decades and decades and decades. Uh -huh. So, okay. well, what's your favourite, favourite find? Ones. Okay, well, I'll start taking them to the front because I've put them over here. So I've hidden them away. This one here. Yeah, no surprise. No, <laughs> no surprises here. Finding a little doll's house teacup. That's got to be my favourite find. Well, it's a teapot, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, yeah, yeah, sorry, you said teacup. Oh, right, I just yeah, wanted sorry. to make sure that <laughs> folks a, knew it was a teapot. It's a teapot, it's got a little spout, and, da, 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 and I don't know the song. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little teapot. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, second favourite find. It's actually two beads, but I can't find the other one just now. It's somewhere in my bag. All oh, right, I thought it was on that we dish. Okay, uh -huh. no, fine, fair enough. So, up. this is one of the two beads, so uh, I think because the, it's a bead, so I think both beads are my favourite finds. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, it's not unpredictable, but they're very cool finds. Yeah, okay, now my third favourite find. Oh, I'm really having trouble here to decide. So many things. I'm actually going to opt for this one. Oh, you know, I was sorely <laughs> tempted by that as well because we don't have one of those. No. It's and I don't think we've found one like that before. And no. that's very, very cool. Yeah, Hopefully so you can see there it uh -huh. says Bovril. I think that's a really nice addition to our Bovril collection. So it is that indeed. Is one of my favourite finds. It doesn't quite complete the Bovril collection, but it no. gets closer. No, no, it gets closer. I think there's a one ounce and a 16 ounce as well that we still have to find. <laughs> so there we go. Mm -hmm. That's us for today. Yeah. Let's get this packed up and we'll get back along to the car. Okay. A massive thanks to the two bottle diggers. One just gave us this huge, huge jam jar for our collection, and the other one gave us this cute wee dog. So that's really amazing. Thanks, guys. So Nicole was given that wee dog, and it's super cute. And I found this wee cat. It was in one of the spoil heaps, but we just had to rescue this, take it home, and now we're going to have a wee cat and a wee dog living in our garden. Maybe this is the best thing we've ever found on our way back to the car. Well, that's us for today. We're definitely going to be back along here very, very soon. In fact, we met two of the guys who very kindly invited us to come back along here. They've been digging this dump for years and they tell us that there's another area that we haven't found yet and they pointed us in the right direction. So look out for that coming soon. As for now though, a huge thanks for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please, please do take a second to subscribe to the channel. It really does help us. Also, check out Crafting with Scottish Mudlarking, our other channel where you can see Nicole doing some amazing crafts with the things that we find here and on the coast. Last but not least, a huge thanks to everyone for helping to support this channel through Etsy and through Kofi. That's how we keep going. Thank you so much for all your help. Thank you. Bye for night.